Hey guys, this is Jamie with Greater Than Gatsby, and today I'm going to show you a very quick way on how to remove those stubborn color casts fast. So as you can see, I chose this wonderful image from Shutterstock for a couple reasons. A, it just brings a smile to my face. It is Valentine's Day. It makes me smile. Number two, it does have some areas that we can quickly and easily correct. So as you can see here, there's two areas of concern. One, the lighting for this image was coming through the bottle. You can see it reflected right here and putting this deep color cast, this hot pink color cast on the skin. And the blue from the background was creating color casts on the shirt and a little bit on the skin. So I'm just gonna show you quickly how to go ahead and remove them. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate your background. Just go ahead and go ahead and move over to the right side and take your background and duplicate it by dragging it down to the plus sign. And once you have that duplicated background, you're gonna go ahead and switch it over to color. And then what I want you to do is change your opacity to 40%, your flow to 100, and make sure that you're using a very soft brush. That's very important here, except for when you're near the edges. And you're gonna zoom into the area of the color cast that you would like to remove. So here you can see this blue that's coming off the background. You're gonna go ahead and select the color that you would like it to be. And you do this by option clicking the color. So option click the color, and you're gonna go ahead and paint it on. And so I'm just gonna kind of go over it a few times to remove that blue and this will change it to the color I would like it to be. And I, you can also do that a little bit here but on a lower opacity, like this blue tone that's on the ink. I'm gonna go ahead and select the black ink that doesn't contain that blue. But this time I wanna go ahead and change the opacity down to about 20% and I'm just gonna go ahead and lightly paint it on those dark, ink colors. I'm actually going to go ahead and increase my opacity a little bit and just kind of remove some of those blue tones. And then I may have to the color warmth back into the skin a little bit. And here we have this tattoo and the skin that has this hot pink reflected. So I'm going to go ahead and select a skin tone color that I like, one that is close to the area. And I'm going to go ahead and paint on. Now this area is very difficult and would be a lot more challenging just because not only do we just have the skin but we also have the tattoo we're gonna have to contend with afterwards and kind of add some of that back so I'm gonna go ahead and change it all the skin tone now and then I will paint on the black afterwards and once again I'm at about 40% opacity and removing some of this pink tone you can kind of see it's already drastically improved and so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select an area of the tattoo that I like, and I'm going to go ahead and paint it back on at a low opacity of about 20%. And you kind of get the idea. If I wanted to make it perfect, I would have to really fine tune it here, but you can see that this will be so much easier on just a plain shirt or skin I want to get a little bit more detail along that bottle edge and grab some of that black again by option clicking and then I'm going to move up here see this blue right here you could also kind of warm or remove that blue by doing the same technique just grab some of the black from that tattoo and paint it over so it kind of matches and maybe the tattoo is blue I don't know but We'll just say for the sake of this tutorial that it is in fact a color cast we want to improve upon. And then once again, you can kind of see this blue here. This is once again from the background. So we're gonna go ahead and select by option clicking the color that I would like to use and go ahead and paint that on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and zoom back out by hitting command zero on the keyboard. And you can see when I toggle off and on, you can see that color really, really start to improve. So once again, this is the quickest and easiest way to remove those stubborn color casts fast. Stay tuned because there'll be some more tutorials coming soon.